Okay, time for a little bit uh, more air system cleanup. So what we got here is, got a wet tank, got a primary air tank, and we have our secondary air tank. Coming off the middle of the secondary air tank is a two-way check valve. Um, it gets prim or, uh, secondary air on one side, it gets primary air from this fitting here up through this hose to the other side and then uh, whichever is greater it outputs into this valve assembly right here. What this is a, is a uh, remote control valve. Um, it has park air applied to it and when you um, when you remove park air and set the parking brake it opens up this bottom port. And this little line here, this quarter inch line feeds over to your hydraulic manifold valve. And this is your air supply for your air operated pump. So it can draw um, air from either the, um, from both the primary and the secondary um, service tanks. Um, I'm removed my air operated pump, it's gone. Um, so I no longer need uh, this two way check valve and this valve assembly because its sole purpose in life is to provide air to that air operated pump. So I'm going to uh, replace this fitting here. You can see is a uh, uh, it's a T fitting, and primary air goes forward up to the treadle valve, and I don't need this other fitting here. So I'm going to replace this T fitting with just a uh, uh, with just an elbow, which I have from a, a previous removal. Uh, which is a uh, half inch MPT to half inch um, compression. So uh, I'll put that fitting in there and I'll get rid of this line and I'll remove this T and this valve. I'll get that all out of there and I've got a pipe plug ready to go in here. That will clean up the tank nicely I think. I'll, uh, I'll take some pictures of it when I get done and I'll tag them on to the end of this video. Anyway, have a good day. Okay, there's another small pile of parts removed. The tank is a lot. Tank area up here is a lot cleaner now. So, so yeah, I removed that um, valve from right here, the two-way check valve and the other remote control valve. Put a pipe plug in there, and I replaced this T fitting with a uh, with another straight fitting I had that was a half-inch national pipe to half inch compression for the airlines. Things routed up and zip tied in place. I think that'll work. Um, I'm of the opinion that the brake system should be the simplest and most robust system on any vehicle. So that's the reason I'm doing these these different changes to uh, remove the extra stuff. I'm kind of surprised they actually took um, air for the air operated pump off of the out of the primary or secondary service tanks that seems a little unusual for uh, the brake systems I'm familiar with